Trash loves trash, which is why I love trash movies, trash shows, trash music. I think I found one of the trashiest shows possibly ever made. It's pure garbage called Moment of Truth. It's an American reality show slash game show where contestants answer 21 increasingly embarrassing and personal questions to reveal their deepest, darkest secrets. They do so in front of their loved ones, like their mom, their dad, their boyfriend, their girlfriend. I'm Katja Ty's wife. I'm April Ty's friend. I'm Martel Ty's friend. Welcome all three of you. If you tell a lie, you actually lose everything. I mean, it's basically just how much are you willing to just absolutely smother the hearts of your loved ones? Are you willing to kick your dad in the dick metaphorically for 10 grand? And people are like, yeah, for sure, easily. Screw that guy. <laughs> Would you be happy to look like your mother when you're her age? No. No, you would not be happy to look like your mother when you're her age. That answer is... True. There's been a couple of like genuinely good people who you do root for on the show, um, but most of them are sociopaths. And there's actually one lady who effectively got the Colombian version of the show shut down after she admitted to hiring a hitman to kill her husband. Luckily for him, the hitman that she hired actually tipped the guy off who fled for his life, but she still walked away from the show with 50 million Colombian pesos. So, I mean, like, yay, she won. I guess. Also, there's times where the crowd will just go, ooh, boo, to shit that's like not that big of a deal. Like, have you ever had gay thoughts? And the crowd's like, oh, no, you better not have. <laughs> have you ever watched more than a single minute of gay pornography? <laughs> The host of the show's name is, and I'm not even joking, Mark Wahlberg. Man, imagine having to go through life with the name Mark Wahlberg and constantly let people down when Mark Wahlberg shows up and it's this guy. Imagine still not being the fucking best Mark Wahlberg when you're up against a guy who's actually been convicted of hate crimes. The host of the show, our boy Marky Mark II, he's always playing this like innocent guy, but there's this energy behind him where I'm convinced that he might be Satan on Earth. He's constantly like, well, you know, we don't have to go to the next round, but... That is a lot of money, isn't it? Ooh, I'm sorry, did I just ruin your relationships? This episode was so controversial, it sparked a long debate as to whether or not to air it at all. Quite honestly, if I had had my vote, it would not have aired. It is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television. I want to warn you, what you're about to see is very difficult to watch. We get it. You're not Satan. You're actually an angel. Sounds like something the devil would say to me, doesn't it, guys? <laughs> kind of making it about himself, isn't he? He can't help but just try to convince you, like, I'm a good guy. Every commercial break, it just gives you this spoiler for what's to come. And that's shitty because it always leaves you on a cliffhanger uh, right before they answer. So you're like, oh, I wonder what they say. But then it shows you what's coming up next, like later in the show. So you, it, it just ruins it in the sense that it's like, well, whatever they say, they got it. They got it right. They obviously continue. Question six. If you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? No, I would not. That answer is... Something we'll find out right after this break. Coming up. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? We know she's going to answer this correctly. They know that that's not the selling point of this. The person winning the money, answering honestly, and moving on is not why this show sells. Why this show sells is because it's emotional and gossipy porn. Isn't it great? <laughs> Let's meet him right now. Who's here? I'm Frank Lauren's husband. I'm Jay uh, Lauren's father. Tim, Lauren's mother. Hi, I'm Monica, Lauren's sister. Now I'm Tim, Lauren's brother. Welcome to all of you. Welcome all of you. You are the chosen sacrifices of tonight's episode. Question three. Would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? Yes. That's, that's that smart. That answer is true. <laughs> 
just look at you with the cute puppy faces, they and seem... then you have somebody who's got a really nasty, dirty face. It's like, hmm. Why the fuck did she do that? She was in the clear. And then she went and she dug herself a grave. Hey, speak less. Question five. Have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I've come to terms with the accepting this. So, uh, yes, I have gotten fired from a job. That answer is true. Okay. Great example where the whole crowd was like, boo you thief. And then she answers it truthfully and they're like, oh, good job, she did it. At least she's honest about it. She's moved on. She's grown. She's grown as a person. Question seven. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? What do you think the answer is? Clear yes. answer. We'll see. <laughs> why, do you gotta, why do you gotta do that to our boy, Frank, over here? He's being very supportive of his wife. And then you're like, are there times where you just don't want to touch him? Come on, man. Leave him alone. Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> that answer is true. Frank actually looks so bothered by that, man. This sucks. Can we get an F in the chat for Frank out here? You have a lot of friends? Um, used to. Not so much anymore. Question eight. Do you blame your husband for your lack of close friends. Oh my God. This is Satan's show. This is exactly what I meant by it. His little setups to it too. He's like, would you uh, say you got a lot of close friends? And then she answers and he's like, do you blame your husband for your lack of close friends? Waving money in her face. If you answer this question, you get money. Sure, it's irreparable damage to your relationship, but also, kashish, baby. Yes, I do. That answer is true. She's willing to just use the show to get these things off of her chest. Like, this is just the vessel in which she can let loose and tell her husband we should not be married. But she's too weak of a person to do that on her own. Plus, she can get a couple thousand dollars. So she uses it in order to break the news. Now, at what cost, right? Family's gonna think differently of you, friends. The whole nation gets to see this shit happen. I'm sorry, Frank. Question 11. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? The dads look over like, oh, what are they talking about? As if the show doesn't somehow know all the insides of your life. I feel like they have a team of investigators, private eyes, who go and they stalk you for a while, find out all your deepest, darkest secrets, just so that they can ask you while you're hooked up to a polygraph test in order to have some juicy content for the TV. So the dad just turns to you and he's like, stop, ah, babe, I don't know what they're talking about. No way. What could it possibly be? He fucking knows. He knows exactly what it is that they're referring to. Yes, I do. That answer is true. Yeah. Just won $25,000, how does that feel? Just so pumped that she's like, she kept this lie for the whole time. He gets up out of his chair, he just like fist pumps the crowd. He's like, yes, we fucking did it. It's like watching when the fucking, they landed on the moon. Boys, we did it. We did it. We passed. My daughter kept a lie from my spouse, her mother. As if that's not gonna do permanent damage. Who knows what the lie is? It could be small. It could be small. Is it probably large? Eh. Probably. Question 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Oh, man. Yes, I believe I was. That answer is true. Hey, man, why do you gotta keep Killing our boy Frank over in the corner. He's just being polite. Oh, he's metaphorically having his balls 
smashed into the pavement. <laughs> ah, Frank. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest. Oh, my God. This is your ex-boyfriend, Frank. Oh, yeah. Every episode, they always have a surprise guest, and it's always somebody that the contestant is emotionally attached to. Sometimes it's a missing father, an absentee father, or sometimes it's, in this case, an ex-boyfriend. It really is some like ancient Roman level shit. Like they're just short of opening those doors and having a lion run in. I feel like at any point he's just gonna give the whole family and the contestant like armor and swords and just let them fight to the death. And at the end he'll be like, and now we feast. And then they eat the person who died. Question 15. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? <laughs> So there's this button in the show that if at any point the family and friends feel like the question has gone too far, they can stand up, they can press this button, and they move on to the next question. But they only get to use it one time. And I'll tell you this, sometimes the replacement question is worse. You could avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. Yeah. No? <laughs> The whole crowd is just booing the sister because they're like, we wanted blood. <laughs> I've given Frank an alternate question. It replaces the one that Monica stopped. Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? I want to be honest and say yes. That answer is true. Crowd clapping there, it seems wildly immoral, doesn't it? <laughs> like, I get it, yay, she answered it truthfully, but I mean, come on. Question 16. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? I'm gonna have to say yes. That answer is true. <laughs> Man, her whole family just seems so disappointed. Pretty cool that she's gonna have money, I guess, but we've raised one of the worst people, so. Do you think you're a good person? Honestly, I think I am a good person. So your answer is? Yes. That answer is... <laughs> and just like that all the money that she was winning is gone so it was a sick sick way to you know ruin your relationship absolutely publicly expose your deepest darkest secrets in exchange for some cash and then just lose it all it really drives home the the, the point though where it's like do people really know themselves how often do we lie to ourselves they might as well just let her just murder her husband because this guy at this point is going through it he knows it was all for nothing I don't know what else to say other than that it, like it just shows that humans are masters of deception and there's nobody that they can deceive better than ourselves. There's these weird non black and white questions with a lot of gray areas. Do you think you're a good person? And, and these are the kind of questions that people seem to fail on a lot more are these more philosophical questions about yourself. But this show also teaches us that people are willing to ruin their lives and the lives of their closest friends and family in order to make a quick buck for some cash, baby. <laughs> if you had any fun watching it, you know, go ahead, like this video, subscribe, notifications if you wanna know when I post again. And honestly, thank you for hanging out with me. Peace.